All right, checking to see if I'm live. All right, checking to see if I'm live. So I'm live. All right, I don't think I need this up. This is going to be, hopefully, the fastest video I've made because I really don't have time to make this video right now. But uh, I just watched Sly Sparkane's video uh, a little while ago. And, uh, you know, where he's talking about the, the debate that <laughs> didn't happen and uh, some of the testing he's been doing. I always love to watch his videos. And um, he talked a lot about, or somewhat about the, uh, what is it, Sultan C test. So I'm just going to chime in with my my two cents on that, you know, the, the type of thing that I generally like to uh, uh, contribute to the, to the whole thing, this whole topic, and that is um, the measurements and the, uh, the maps. So I, I just became interested to see what kinds of measuring has occurred at this location around that uh, body of water in the past. And I just did a little research, found some papers and some reports and some maps in there. I've put them all in the uh, description box, some links to these papers. Apparently, this is a real uh, seismic active zone with a fault line that uh, necessitated a lot of uh, measuring. They've put in some geodetic networks around this body of water. And of course, these survey markers can be found. You can go find these. But anyway, if anyone's interested in read the, reading this report, I didn't read it. I just looked it up just now. So it's like, uh, you know, if you're going to do a test in an area to, in, to the way I do my testing and observations, I go to find out what has occurred there in the past. Um, here's a great way to go and do that. You can look up the control markers, which I'll do in just a minute. Um, but it's always interesting to go and find out what kinds of maps exist for the area. This is an interesting one. I, I had no idea that the Salton Sea is 241 feet below sea level. It's interesting. Of course, here's a map where you can get the uh, latitudes and longitudes for uh, any location in this area. Pretty cool. Here's, these, when you see these little triangles, that's generally a survey benchmark of some type. And uh, like, again, I told you, I'll show you how you can look those up and go find them. Here's one here. It's a nice looking map. I like the older maps. Just I just like the styling of these older, older uh, topographic maps. So that's you know you can find one and then you go look up the others that surround that area. Pretty cool. You can actually grab that map. I, did, I don't think I put the link to this here, but you can go to this site and then maybe find the rest that are surrounding that one. And like I said, I'm going to make this quick. I just want to supply information for people to uh, equip themselves. Like maybe, maybe you're interested in this area or maybe you're going to do a test someplace else. Um, this is a good resource to go and find all kinds of uh, survey control marker information. And I'm saving that. I'll do that at the end. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's the other thing. Topographic maps. This is a, a good... Um, I, I did give you the link to this one in the description. But... Uh, yeah, here, you know what? Let me explain something. The um, when you go and look up these survey markers, right? Those form the basis of you, you might call it like the skeleton or the the um, 
Let's see if I have, do I have this open? I think it's open. Yeah. Here's uh so here's here's a map showing the actual survey measurements made on the Salton Sea. And so these are those survey markers around there and in the sight lines. And also what's interesting about this map is that there are different agencies be, being shown on this map. So the red ones are the geological survey. That's the USGS survey. And then uh, the black ones are the coast and geodetic survey or now known as the national geodetic survey. And then there's other agencies. These could be state department of highway. These could be, um, uh, uh, you know, Army Topographic Survey, the, any number of, of different other agencies. But they all kind of contribute to making this uh, survey control network, of which then forms the basis for producing the topographic maps. So this, this is called survey control. And, uh, you know, they will have horizontal positions and, and vertical positions. Some of them are done by leveling. See these double, double black lines here? That's called a first order level line. And uh, so there's the Salton Sea. These are the marks that could can be found around that body of water. Let's see what else I wanted to show you. Okay, so back to here. So that's the tie-in. You know, you've got the survey markers, and then you've got the maps that then get produced using that survey control. And this is a, a nice uh, website where you could just come and find the, uh, like if I just double click here, there we go. So you double click at a location then uh, you can view the products. And you can um, narrow it down to a certain time frame that you're interested in. I'll just keep it wide open here. And you can specify this type of scale that you're interested in. So like here, this map is a one, one to 50. It's a flat format too. <laughs> Here it is from 1976. You can view the PDF. Sometimes it immediately comes to it to download, which I'm not going to do. Or sometimes it will just show it to you. Let's see if this one will do a view. Ah, it's doing another download. I have downloaded a few of these, but um, eh. Anyway, I did, I did download a few. And like I said, sometimes they pop up. Let's see which one I want. This here. I already showed you that one. Let me show you a different one. That's another survey triangulation diagram. I know I have one of these open. Here's one. It's an old, old map. This is... See the date on this one. Oh, I'm not seeing it. Well, oh, here's some dates. 1943, whatever. This is uh, just one area around the Salton Sea. Here you can see a survey benchmark. Here's some benchmarks over here. I guess that's a railroad line. Uh, again, here it is saying that the water surface is 241 feet below sea level and that was 1943. Here is a county boundary line going right through here. Pretty cool. Here's a benchmark called Sultan up here on top of a mountain there or a, a butte I guess. Cool stuff. So now I'll just go ahead and uh, Okay, so I've shown you that. I'll end with the survey control. Start to close up these. And again, here's all the links in the description of the video that is 
Good morning, folks. I got eight people watching now, but I'm not, I'm just, I want to end this. I got a lot to do today. I've got so many videos I want to make, and this one's just, uh, I'm just fitting this one in. Um, I got two videos. I got the presentations being prepared, you know, that I'm preparing for my next two videos. But anyway, you come to this site here. This is the National Geodetic Survey Data Explorer, which is very convenient because, you know, in back in the day before the web, we had to, you know, this is all on paper and you had to go research it. You had to, um, you had to get paper copies of this stuff, but now you can just look up here. I'll, I'll just go right here. I'll mark the center. It's going to do a research. It's going to search the database. And then it, it, the first thing it's telling you, there's 22 marks in this area. There's 11 here. There's three. And I did not filter it down for vertical or horizontal. I just let it search anything available. So let's take a look. Zooming in. If, if I'm not mistaken, and these appear to be, um, I don't know, let's find out what one of these is. Elevation order. Okay, so this is a, uh, what is this thing? Well, let's look at it. Pull up the data sheet. Okay, it is a, it's a benchmark, but it's been classified. It's readjusted, so they're not even giving you the order. It's not first order, second order, whatever. It's readjusted, see below. This is a readjusted benchmark height. This is probably one of these areas where there's some, um, what is it called? Uh, the vertical vertical values are changing because of the uh, change in the topography there. I don't know. But uh, you get the idea. You can just come in here. Now, here's probably, whoops. What's this here? All right, so this is a horizontal order, is first order. That means its uh, position is good to one part in 100,000. And it looks like the vertical has been determined. So the, the uh, horizontal is determined by classical geodetic methods. That's generally uh, triangulation or traverse. Here you could see the marks that they observed from that point. So they looked at a water tank. Here's another water tank they saw. Here's some other tanks, uh, buildings. So, you know, you would see that on the triangulation diagram. You, you would see uh, the lines emanating away from that mark and so on and so forth. Let's see. Then you always come down to the bottom, make sure it's still there. <laughs> It's got a long history. So the last recovery reported is in 1976, and they found it in good condition at that time. Okay, so that's how this works. This is the type of like research you would do before you go to do your measuring campaign, whatever it happens to be. And, uh, you know, I'm using this Salton Sea as an example, but of course, this is a nice resource for wherever you are in the country to do the same thing. I don't think this works in Canada, but you can go to the Canadian uh, Geodetic Survey for their style and method of, you know, serving up their geodetic control. And uh, that's it. I think I want to say... Sayonara. Have a good day, everybody.